Hey guys, I'm Liv Langdon, the Nutrition and Food Manager at Onnit, and today I have a very special guest with us, Carmen Morgan. She's an Onnit certified personal trainer, and she's gonna make one of my favorite shakes today in the Onnit Cafe and Smoothie Bar. Awesome, I'm so excited to be here. And I see we're doing a green shake, which is super cool, because I always like to try to incorporate some kind of greens in yeah. my post-workout. Totally. This is like our quintessential green smoothie that we have here. Do you normally have protein shakes after a workout? I do, I have one after every single workout, and I usually turn to like spinach or something, but I need to be doing more avocado because I love avocado. I eat it all the time. Anyways. Me too. It's my favorite. <laughs> Today we're using broccoli sprouts actually, and I'll explain why that's really good for you and everyone should incorporate it into their diet now if you don't already. So we're going to just get started. We're going to put some cucumber, which is full of water. So we really don't need a whole lot of liquid in the shake. And then one orange. So both of those together, you just need a little bit of extra liquid and you're good to go for the rest of the smoothie. Nice. Uh, we'll add the broccoli sprouts next. They're technically microgreens, but they're full of a compound called sulforaphane, which helps eliminate carcinogens from the body. Very cool. So it's really good for cancer prevention, just staying healthy. It's a good anti-inflammatory. You could put it on toast. We put it on our toast here. Yeah. It's really good. And your favorite, avocado. Yeah. <laughs> healthy fats, very important for you. They're a good source of monounsaturated fats. It also helps to thicken the smoothie, so you don't have to use as much sugar from like a banana or other types of fruits too. Great idea. I always use avocado in my sandwiches instead of mayo and things like that because it's so creamy. I yeah, love it. Yeah, exactly. Avocado is a great like alternative to a lot of things. I put it in, do you put it in your tuna fish? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. me too. It looks weird. It's yeah. like a green mush, but it's good But actually. it tastes great. Yeah. So now I'm just doing a half of a juice of lemon. It adds a little bit of tartness to it. It complements the other flavors. The protein's a little sweet, so this tartness balances that out. Um, okay, so your turn. We can add turmeric. So turmeric is a root vegetable. It's a really powerful, powerful anti-inflammatory. We're gonna add like 10 shakes of that, just about. It has like an earthy, bitter taste to it, but it's really healthy. So try to add it in your shakes if you possibly can. Perfect. Then Himalayan salt is next. This is key for post-workout. Himalayan salt is full of trace minerals. There's about 84 trace minerals as compared to table salt. So table salt has one or two minerals versus Himalayan salt has 84. Easy Powerful. win, post-workout, you sweat everything out and then you replenish with Himalayan salt, water, coconut water, something like that. And then we'll add our recovery protein. So this is one of my favorite proteins. It has a great toasted coconut flavor. It's only sweetened with stevia and it has a bunch of different types of proteins. So it has branch chain amino acids, creatine, it also has colostrum, it has hemp seed in it, goat oh, wow. whey isolate. It's a really good source of protein for post-workout because you're getting it from a variety of sources. And it tastes good. Yum, and coconut. Who and coconut, coconut, yeah. <laughs> Coconut's my freaking favorite. Um, coconut water is next. So we're just gonna do a splash. It doesn't need a whole lot of liquid for this particular shake, but this is also good for post-workout because it has a lot of minerals and vitamins as well. Then some ice, just like one or two cups. And then we're gonna put the top on, blend this baby up. All righty. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, nice and icy. We'll split this one, but this is a 24 ounce serving that we have here. Mm -hmm. So we'll just have a little bit of taste, both of us. Perfect. Here's for you. Yeah. Here's for me. Blends up nicely, it tastes refreshing. It's not super heavy. And then we have a green straw to match. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, that was so easy. And if you, if you want to follow Carmen, she has a ton of good recipes as well, right? I do. On my Instagram, My Trainer Carmen account, I like to try as many recipes as I can. And this is so perfect because, like I said, I'm usually so used to grabbing just spinach or yeah. frozen spinach from the freezer. And I like the idea of these sprouts and the avocado. That yeah. So, good. And so people can follow you on Instagram? Mm -hmm. You can find me on Instagram at, at My Trainer Carmen. And I also have an app in the App Store, also My Trainer Carmen app. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks I'm so, so much happy for you came into the kitchen. I'm going to use this at home. Yay! <laughs>